hello everyone so today i'm going to be showing you all how to make this gouache skyscape with a silhouette so let's get started so the colors that i'm going to be using today are rose hot pink and mauve from the brewstro official gouache set and i'm going to be starting by taping my paper i'm using the canson 300 gsm cold press paper and that's where our painting is going to go today. so i'm going to be starting by taking the mauve and placing it on the upper part of the paper so you have to make sure that this part is very smooth and even because if it is not smooth our blending also may not be smooth later So once I have placed my first color, I am going to take hot pink and I have a, some tiny specks of purple on my brush but that is fine because in the end we are just going to end up blending the entire thing together. So make sure you maintain this white gap in between because that is what is going to help you blend, get a clean blend. So now I am going to be taking some white. Uh, to be specific this is titanium white and i will be slowly bringing it down making the colors lighter so there are a lot of ways you can blend with gouache you can use water you can use a damp brush you can use the dry colors itself sometimes but today i am going to be using white to blend so whenever i blend with gouache i mostly use white to blend it because it gives it such a clean and finished look So usually at this point I just play around with the gouache to achieve the perfect look. So in this painting I want the top part to be very dark to you know achieve a depth in the painting. So I'm going to uh, add some white blend it and just play around with it. So next I'm going to use some violet. So violet is darker than mauve so it will help you achieve the darker part very easily. So again I'm just going to play with it and just bring the colors down to blend them. So now I'm going to be using size 1 flat brush or any small brush to make my clouds and I am using rose and violet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to activate my rose with a little bit of water and add a hint of violet in it. So this is to make the color more dark, rich and deep. So I'm just going to continue mixing my color until I achieve the perfect color. So if you don't have the exact shades, you can try mixing crimson and violet or purple together. So when you make your clouds, you have to go in this horizontal motion left and right. And you go that and you go up and then you go towards the side. So I'm using the same motion throughout my painting to make my clouds and I think this is the most easiest way to make clouds. At the same time you get the realistic effect. So I'm going to continue by adding more clouds on top and some other clouds here and there. But remember you don't want to fill up the sky a lot because we're going to be having our silhouette as well. And I usually make this mistake by adding a lot of uh, you know clouds. So next I'm going to be taking some hot pink and I'll just be applying that on the right side of the clouds. Remember to just apply it little bit. You don't need to blend it yet. So we're just going to place our hot pink in random spots on the cloud. And then I am going to completely clean my brush. Okay, it should be completely clean. And then you have to take a damp brush. So again, damp, not wet. Okay, so take a damp brush and blend blend the hot pink with your mauve not too much just a little bit okay so because we don't want the pink to completely blend and disappear we want to have that touch as well because i think that is the best part of our painting i'm going to go ahead with my triple zero liner brush from camlin and i'm just going to start making our silhouette so our silhouette for this painting is a current pole and in my original painting I made it really thin but I wanted to experiment and make this a little bit thick this time. So I'm just going to make it dark and thick and once I'm done with that I'm just going to add this very small line on top and from there we can obviously you know build it up. 
so i'm just going to make sure i don't have any white gaps so what you can do is you can make your uh, black a little bit more liquidy compared to what we usually work with with gouache so then it's easier for you to move the brush because later we'll be making some wires and etc and if you uh, stop in between you might not achieve the perfect look so now i'm going to be continuing by making more of these small line thingies i don't know what you actually call them and see i have a friend to paint with me mr ant okay now keeping that aside i'm going to make these light thingies as well i don't know what you call them uh, and this is the last one after that we are going to be starting to make our uh, current lines so to make these lines i would recommend you to you know make it more thin make your gouache more thin so that it's easy for you to make a line if the paint flows properly otherwise you can see me struggling and coloring them so again a later i made it thin and on each line not on every line almost every line i'm going to add these uh small you know knots or tie some tangled wires or maybe uh, the ball things that hang to the wires sometimes again i don't know what you call them but which is going to make the wires look as messy as possible because that is what we are going we are trying to achieve in this painting and that's a total charm to this painting so to every uh, small medium line let's call that that i'm going to add two uh, or three lines so if you see me painting my first wire and now you can realize that i made my paint thin that's why my brush is able to flow easily compared to before so let's make more of those and then i think i'm going to add maybe two more of those so when you pull the tape make sure you pull it towards you to achieve clean and neat edges and we are done with this painting make sure you like share subscribe and let me know what you want to see me post in the future and i hope you try it out and tag me on instagram the ring binder so that i can see it thanks for watching